Hey, what's going on there guys and gals? Welcome back. You join us today at Cribs Causeway in Bristol, where we've just had a very, very lovely lunch, haven't we, wifey? We have. <laughs> Enjoyed yeah. it thoroughly. Yeah, we had a, a nice uh, meal at Tortilla. It's, uh, yeah, it's absolutely wonderful. And yeah, today is the very first day that we're actually uh, coming out and doing a video together. Now that we've yeah. got two GoPros, we've got mm -hmm. one for each of us now. We can actually uh, do dual vlogs, which is pretty cool. And look how beautiful it is today. Yeah, it is a... It's a perfect day. It is an absolutely lovely day. This is the first day that we've had in, uh, well, I mean, we're still in winter, aren't we? Yes, until next weekend. Until next weekend. The spring starts next weekend, so spring's actually... Uh, it's not start, sprung. Uh, start, uh, oh. It's not sprung yet. <laughs> spring hasn't quite sprung yet, but what well, it has, because this is the first nice day that we've had this year so far, so... Yeah, definitely taking the opportunity to come out for a ride. But yeah, in today's video, we are going to discuss what it's like riding with your wife or partner. <laughs> Let's get right into it. Punch your luck. <laughs> Punch for luck. <laughs> right, yeah, let's uh, hit the road, shall we? Let's do it. Let's get on the bikes and let's go. You're not ready yet. <laughs> I'm getting there. Right, oh no, we can go left here. Bang in. We can? Yeah. Cool. You can still smell fried food. Yeah, I know. It smells good, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, so as you can see, guys and girls, the wife is on her little Ninja 125. I am on the big girl. <laughs> the ZZR 1400. And, uh, yeah, it's um, interesting riding with your wife or your partner. Very, very interesting. Right, so we're just going to get ourselves out of Bristol. If we can. <laughs> yeah, if we can, and then we'll actually uh, start talking about what this actually feels like riding together. The next video will be going, it's been three days and we're still trying to get out of Bristol. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, wife, well, I'll let you uh, take point. Hello. Hello. Fancy seeing you here. <laughs> right, hopefully it should be uh, plain sailing now. Fingers crossed. Well, this is a different way out, isn't it? No, I, I, think, I think it's the way you came. Oh, okay, who knows? Blind bend, blind bend. So, wifey, tell me, tell me what it's like then to ride with, with me. <laughs> mm. uh, I'm, it... I'm sure you've got a few things to say. <laughs> <laughs> Where do I begin? It is nice having someone watch your back there and someone you know actually cares about you behind you. We need to take a right up here. Where? Uh, it sh should be just coming up. There it is. Okay. Yeah, it is nice having someone you know that's like behind you and has all your best interests at heart, you know? Well, I think that's one of the biggest problems with group rides is when you're riding with people that you don't know, People can be a bit stupid. Yeah, showing off kind of comes into it nearly. Yeah, that's it, yeah. They can go too fast or they can do stupid manoeuvres or... That's it. Something like that. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, I, I don't know. I, I'm not much of a fan of group rides, to be honest, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll see in future. Maybe we could do some videos on group rides. Who knows? Yeah. But yeah, carry on. What, what's it like riding with me then? Uh, do you know what? It can be a bit nerve-wracking sometimes. Only because I don't want to let you down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to be like, oh God, what is she doing? Like, I can't take her anywhere sort of thing. <laughs> um, but I think you get that with anything you do, which you share with your partner, can't you? Yeah. You get yeah. that like worry that like, they're not enjoying it or they're not, you're not doing it the way they want you to or whatever. But for the most part, it's nice having you in my ear. Yeah. You know, and, and there's things that I'm not confident about even as a as a driver um, and having you just guide me through it when I'm on a bike is is comforting for sure. Did you just get peppered by something? 
I don't know why. I just got hit in the face with something. Uh, stones or I did something. back there, but I, when we came on the roundabout, but not down here. No. <laughs> so, <laughs> something was like being thrown from the field next to us. I think. Yeah. I don't know. It, it, it is also nice having someone to talk to about random stuff. Yeah, that's right. And, you know, someone to kind of uh, enjoy the experience with. Yeah, you know, even if just like, oh, it's a nice area, sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. You know, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a motorcycle instructor by any means, so, you know, when I'm out riding with the wife and I try helping her with certain things, or if I spot her doing something, something wrong, then uh, finding ways of telling telling her that without sounding, you know, criti overly critical or overly harsh. I think if we uh, didn't have can, good can be, can be difficult. Yeah, I think if we didn't have good communi ugh, good communication, then it would it, it would not be a pleasant experience. Well, I mean, even even then though, we we st we st we do still struggle to communicate with each other every now and then. Well, yeah, that's natural, though, isn't it? You know, and, and that's the biggest problem that I find is when I'm trying to communicate something important whilst we're riding it can be really difficult to not sound really mean about it because it's kind of like our lives at risk, you know? Yeah. At least in a car, you've got a, a shell around you and you can... Y yeah. You know, if you get involved in a crash, yeah, you'll, you'll probably be all right. But on a bike, if you, if you make a catastrophic error, it could be your last. That's it. So, yeah, I think that's, that's the, the difficult thing is coaching someone on something that could potentially end your life if you're not doing it quite right is uh, quite difficult yeah <laughs> you want to be constructive but you and but you need you want to say it in a way that doesn't then put that person off that's riding right. or, or like make that's them right. nervous to get back on the bike sort of thing exactly yeah that's that's it i think it's a fine line yeah it's, it is tough it is tough for sure but riding next to a 125cc bike it might sound like a chore but it's absolutely fine do you get bored I, no i don't i get more bored with you riding as pillion at least it, when we're riding each other uh, our own bikes i can you know open the taps up a little bit and i can let you catch up and stuff but for the most part it's a really pleasant experience yeah, I mean, there has been occasions where you've just like suddenly appeared and you've vanished. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you're like, who can catch up? And then five minutes later, I appear. Exactly, but yeah, right, riding next to a 125cc isn't, isn't that bad. You get the hill? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Well done. I meant to go down again, went up, so. Oh. <laughs> that was never going to work, was it? Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> no, probably not. Oh, wow, that's a nice view on the left there. It Lovely. is indeed. Right, left? Left, yeah. That's another thing as well. I don't have to worry about where I'm going because you kind of control that for me. Yeah, I can I can direct you with, with the sat-nav here. And I so can just focus. That's right, yeah. You can just concentrate on riding. What I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> you're just like your indicators on. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, see, so cool. we can we can tell each other when we're when we're, <laughs> something's not quite right. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Again, it comes into the whole like safety point of it, doesn't it? If I'm indicating left and I don't mean to be, and then someone overtakes me, but I'm not going anywhere, it, it's just. Yeah, that's it. And, and we tell each other when there's potholes on the road. Pine where... cones. <laughs> yeah. And when someone someone's being stupid, yeah, trying try to do a, a stupid overtake, yeah, or something like that. That's it. And we've just hit traffic. Ah, uh, yeah, temporary traffic. Uh, ro ro roadworks traffic, yeah. <laughs> Say what? I think I might have to reorganise my nuts. <laughs> I just kind of sat on the bike and and went. Yeah. <laughs> Without the chance really, to re reorganise myself. I don't really have that problem. No, you don't. 
Do you know what? It's also quite nice having you when things don't go quite to plan. How do you mean? Like when my fuel light is flashing and I'm panicking, I'm not going to make it. <laughs> and you're like, it's fine. It's fine. Even if you were lying to me, it's fine. Because you got me through like that panic. No, no. You would have been okay. The reserve tank would have gotten you a good 20 miles at least. I remember on the ER6 when we were, we, we'd gone out and we were on the reserve tank. And we were, it took us like 10 minutes to find a petrol station. Oh, yeah. And I was in cold sweats. <laughs> I was like, I don't know where I am. We're going to get stranded. <laughs> so. Well, if you do, you've just got to push the bike. That's, that's all yeah. you can do, really. <laughs> that's it. Well, you offered to push my bike, didn't you? But, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pushing your bike's easy. <laughs> yeah, it's pushing that. That's a bit of a... Yeah, pushing this is a bit of a chore, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I do, do you know what? I do quite like it because people see us riding together. And I think they find it quite funny that like the two green bikes or whatever but I look like a moving watermelon so <laughs> I don't think my bag helps does it <laughs> that's a good look over your shoulder there darling well, well thank done. you I'm trying to get better at it I'm that's... trying not to rely on you that's the only downfall actually yeah. is that I can rely on you too much to like to be the, uh, the person to tell me like when I can move lanes and stuff. I think that's such an easy habit to get into. So I'm trying to do it um, well, that's, uh, myself. Yeah, and um, that's something they will really push push you on when you're doing your, your full test. They, they'll be, they will be pushing those lifesaver checks. That's it. So, um, might as well get the habit of it now. That's right, but at the same time, um, I would like you to come out and do some vlogs on your own. Yeah. Now, the wife hasn't had that much experience out riding on her own because well I'm usually out on my bike all the time so we go out together don't we that's it yeah so it makes sense to go out together but yeah um, yeah it, w it would be good from a female's perspective to do some some vlogging I'm sure that I'm sure that our lady viewers would certainly appreciate advice or uh, experiences from from a fellow lady <laughs> all right so from my perspective riding with the wife like I was saying earlier it can be straining or you, you, we can lines of communications certainly get strained when you're trying to communicate certain certain things that involve danger or what have you I mean you know what it's like if you try criticizing a family member for something it doesn't matter what it is you know it, it, it's 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 never an easy conversation to have is it no. because they <laughs> they always they always end up being quite uh defensive about it at least well that's that's what i get with uh, with my brother and i'm sure i do the same with him as well <laughs> so yeah it's, it's it's no different really advising a family member or criticizing a family member is is always difficult never easy but that's the thing I mean from, from my perspective it's for your safety and, and what have you so it's important to convey certain messages yeah uh, even if they come across uh, you know harsh or what have you yeah that's it but I mean other than that most of the time riding riding with you is it, absolutely fine uh, it's fun, it's enjoyable, we get to chat about stuff, you know, we get to escape from life. Yeah. You know, it, it experience just that open road. I mean, I made the joke earlier about about playing Credence Clearwater, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, whilst we were riding, because uh, <laughs> that's certainly what what I would imagine us playing if uh, if we were in a convoy. <laughs> <laughs> what was it you likened it to? Wild hogs, that was it. Wild hogs, yeah. <laughs> the British wild hogs <laughs> on Japanese bikes. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, yeah. But it's really good fun, I have to say. I mean, the, the wife doesn't, doesn't ride anywhere near as much as I do. Um, but now the weather's getting better, you know. Yeah, that's that's it. I mean, I, I have more of a desire to get out on my motorcycle than uh, than you do. But when 
when we do go out together, I, I really, really enjoy myself. Yeah. I find it so relaxing and I find it so, so enjoyable. I think once I'm out of places like, like towns, like Bristol, I can actually enjoy it. That's the thing, yeah, on roads like this, it's really easy. When you're in town centres and stuff, it's, it's stressful anyway, even when you're riding on your own. Uh, but yeah, when, when you're riding with someone uh, that has less experience than you do in a stressful environment about that, well... And, and an environment we're not familiar with as well. Exactly, yeah, it does get very, very tedious. Like, even in a car, that, that confuses me, that area. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but and then again though, when, when we're both in a car together and we're, you know, going through a stressful environment like a town centre and we have no idea where we're going or where the hell we are, having that extra person there to help figure out where it is you need to go, for me, really helps. Yeah. It's really useful. Yeah. So again, another, another benefit to riding together is figuring things out That's when you're it. in those, those stressful situations, working as a team. But there's no, like, showing off. There's no, you know, we don't need to go fast anywhere. We can just chill and enjoy the ride. And I think that's that's what I love the most. The thing is, we're going to the same place. <laughs> well, yeah, precisely, you know? yeah. We, we don't have to take any detours and we can just enjoy, enjoy the experience. Yeah, it's wonderful, it's wonderful. I mean, I, I suppose it does depend on, uh, on who you're riding with but yeah luckily the wife is a very very lovely <laughs> riding riding buddy <laughs> i try <laughs> video here and we'll catch you all in a moment <laughs> <What? laughs> you look shagging your bike <laughs> making sure it's not moving anyway don't put that in the video <laughs> Welcome back. Where were we? What, what were we talking about earlier, wifey? Riding together and... Bear with, this is confusing me. <laughs> sorry, I get distracted easily like, and I need to focus on what I'm doing for a sec. Yeah, it's all right. Better that you focus on, on riding than uh, <laughs> they're not. That's true. <laughs> I think this is the thing, you can have fun, like you were saying, you can have fun, like yeah, we have fun together, whereas I think with friends it can get a little bit uh, competitive and a bit boisterous. Yeah, we, we, we've got a playmate. <laughs> yeah, my playmate's much smaller than yours though. Can I have a, can I have a dog fight? Yeah. <laughs> But that's a good thing though, you want, you you do want a lightweight bike. Yeah, I uh, think, I think... Your, your camera's just gone off. Oh, cool. Uh, so let's pull over, let's turn left here, let's change the battery out. 
and yeah we can carry on the journey sorry about this guys right we're back Hiya. we're back <laughs> All right, now we can actually. Uh... Oh, for goodness' sake! What happened? You stole it. Yeah. Oh, oh you put it. You put it in gear with the stand down, didn't I you? I did. Yeah. <laughs> That's the second time that happened to me today. Happens to all of us. <laughs> right. Uh, so what? What can we? What can we talk about to conclude this video then, wifey? Oh, we, we were talking about playmates, weren't we? And uh, yeah. Yeah, just having fun. And that, that's the thing. A lot of this is about enjoying yourself. I think with the uh, with the wife, she she does get intimidated by by riding and uh, having experiences where she's able to enjoy enjoy the ride. That helps mitigate the fear. But if uh, if it's a stressful ride, you know, and, and I'm in her ear saying x y and z then it's not a good experience is it for, for either no. of us no and it, it it just makes it hard to think about get back on again that's right yeah and, and that's what we don't want we want you know we, we want people to get on their bikes and we want them to enjoy their motorcycles and to keep on wanting to ride them every day and unfortunately yes yeah, sometimes with us riding together if if one of us is in the right frame of mind uh, then yeah, it doesn't really help uh, that end goal, does it? No. I don't think, but I mean, we're, we're working on it. Uh, we're getting better. I think I think today has been a very, very good experience. Yeah, it's been great today. You but know, then we've both been quite like chill, quite receptive and... You yeah, know. exactly. No rush. Uh, you know, just literally all about enjoying the experience, enjoying the day out in this basically a summer day in winter yeah isn't it <laughs> just much windier <laughs> well yeah a little bit windier a colder wind i suppose but but yeah an absolutely wonderful day nonetheless and i hope we have plenty more days like this this year uh because uh, uh th th these these are the best days to ride yeah and there's no like because it's a weekend there's no rush to get home and there's no you know we've just had work and work has been stressful and now i'm going out and we've got an hour to get everything we need to do and then go home but there's none of that yeah and it's just literally like we'll go out when we're ready and we went out and then we kind of had we had some nice food and we were like oh should we let's let's get back on the bikes again right and it was very much like you alluded earlier when, when we were eating it feels more like a road trip than than anything else right now yeah that's it because we just came up this way because we wanted to go to the restaurant tortilla uh, we went there last year for the wife's birthday and it was absolutely wonderful if, uh, if you guys live in the avon gloucestershire area of the uk go try out tortilla it's yeah. absolutely amazing it's and such a good mexican restaurant and if you can choose the pork over the chicken yeah, oh, yeah, we learned okay. that today, didn't we? That's it, yeah, definitely get the pork. The pork is the best thing. Yeah. Best thing, yeah, the pulled pork. But, uh, yeah, it literally felt like we were out on a road trip together and we just stopped off at a diner and got some grub before moving on to our next stop kind of thing. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And it, this is the thing, because it's, because it's so nice, because, you know, we're having a chat and we've been able to have just, like, random chats and we've gone along or whatever. It's been really nice, there's been no pressure and no... Uh, it's not been tense. Yeah. I think that's such an important thing, that if you do take your partner, especially if it's someone you live with, that to make the experience as enjoyable for both of you, because you don't want you don't want this ending on a sour note, and you don't want that person to not want to come out with you again, so... Yeah, that's absolutely right. I 100% agree. And I, I'm going to be honest and say that this uh, this has certainly put a strain on um, uh, on the moto vlogging project. You know, encouraging the the wife to come out and ride with me. But at the same time, you know, the, the way how I've been going about it has been wrong most in most occasions. So yeah, it, it, again, it's a learning curve for me having the wife come out and ride with me as it is for the wife learning how to ride and learning how to enjoy the ride yeah uh, so yeah it's a bit 
It's a re it's it's uh, it is an odd one for sure. Because yeah, if 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 one of you is in the right frame of mind, it, the, the journey does become quite laboured, and uh, yeah, it, it, like you said, it, it can be a negative experience, which is certainly not what this is all about. This is all about enjoying enjoying ourselves on a lovely day like today. I mean, and it's so far. I mean, we're not home yet, but it's been fairly trauma-free, hasn't it? Like nothing's really gone wrong. Yeah. Nothing I've done anyway. <laughs> no, no, exactly. So. Exactly, and I mean, when when some things didn't go quite to plan, like you know, when I, I took a different exit to you did, you, <laughs> yeah. you were still able to find your way back, and again, that's a real positive. The thing is, I had I had no choice. I well, had to come back and find you, so I could have panicked, um, or I could, you know, I could have just dealt with it, and I dealt with it, and then I got off, and I'm like, oh my god, that's so scary. But <laughs> you know, it, it was done, and now I know if we get this out, we are in comms were a massive, massive help. I couldn't ride with you without my intercom. Yeah. I think yeah. I'd really, really struggle and I'd really, I'd really freak out because I wouldn't be able to, you know, talk to you. And even as a pillion, if our intercoms die, I don't like it. Yeah, exactly. And it's funny because when we did our pillion review of the ZZR, this, this motorcycle here, um, we did get a viewer that, that criticised the fact that I said that intercoms were the most important thing between two riders, a rider and a pillion. Oh, massively. And I, I, and I think to myself, well, they, well, they, they were saying that earplugs are more important. And I completely disagree. My hip, I'm a drummer, my hearing is shot. Yeah. It don't well, matter to me. But, but a lot of that depends on the helmet that you wear as well, how good the helmet is at yeah. keeping the wind out, the wind noise out. I think if you're riding with someone, especially if someone who's not a constant rider, like me, the, I, if we didn't have intercoms, there's no way I'd be out on the road with you because you at the moment are my second, you're my second pair of eyes. That's right, and you're mine as well. Yeah, and there's certain things that I will miss. Like, you know, someone puts their brakes on in front of me and I've looked down for a split second to check the speed I'm going. Yep. You know, and, and you're able to say brakes and I know that, you know, I need my brakes on. But ow, without you, I would have... Goodness knows what would have happened. <laughs> well, that's it. Yeah. But I just think I just think the crux of it is if you're gonna go out with someone that you you care for, um, appreciate that everything they're saying to you is because they care and yeah. because they want you to be safe. That's um, right. And also appreciate that you know it, it it won't go perfectly every time, but how you communicate with each other is so so key. Yep. That you don't want it to be fraught and, oh. and you don't want to have the fear of getting on it again, like, you know. But that's certainly the biggest learning curve that I've had. Yeah. In coming out on rides with you is, is how, how we can improve, or how I can improve my communication towards you to be more constructive and positive about the experience, not negative. Yeah. And it's a cycle, isn't it? The way. The way that someone speaks to you will affect how you feel, which will affect how you act, which will affect what happens to the other person, which will affect how they talk to you, which will affect what you, you know, it goes on and on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, big, big learning curve. And um, yeah, I had something else I was going to say, but uh, I, I'm really sorry, guys. I can't actually remember what that was. <laughs> uh, literally just came out of my mind. It's something to do with communication, I think, but doesn't really matter I mean at the end of the day we've enjoyed ourselves coming out today I hope you guys have enjoyed the ride along with us and yeah let us know in the comment section below what it feels like for you guys if you ride with your wife or your partner if your wife rides pillion with you or if your wife if your wife has a motorcycle of her own let us know your experiences down in the comment section below we'd love to hear your thoughts and uh, the wife is trying to race me now <laughs> How slow it took me to get to 50 miles, 55 miles an hour then was just hilarious. That was a hill though. True. You, you were going up quite a steep hill. True. 
<laughs> uh. but yeah guys and girls thank you ever so much for watching as always make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe if you enjoy our content and you would like to support the channel and yeah i mean wifey have you got any uh closing remarks not today not today just enjoy it enjoy the day absolutely yeah yeah that'll do for today's video guys and girls as always enjoy your rides stay safe and yeah we will catch you all in the next video brother wife and i have a good one